Hi guys, welcome to my very first beauty tutorial. Yay! Hopefully, but hopefully, oh, why can't I say the word? Hopefully. Yay! <laughs> already uploaded the uh, traveling vlog when I went to uh, Mexico and um, I wanted to do a tutorial on my go-to summer look right now what I kind of like started doing when I was there and went with way too much makeup and brushes that I end up using but this simple mostly all cream products no heavy foundation or anything on your face I did go down to Mexico with um, my um, Pat McGrath, which I love, it's very light, and my Surat uh, Dewy Drops, or the Dew Drops. And, uh, but it just, with all the heat and all the sun creams, and I just didn't want anything extra on my face. And this routine I've done, which is concealer and the other uh, cream products, ended up being perfect. And I discovered how to use my Tati Beauty, what is this, the beautiful, used it four days in a row, switching up sides, because I only use four creams. It was perfect. There five days, went out four nights, had makeup done every night with this, and it really, it really is better than always traveling with a um, beauty blender, making that wet, having somewhere to lay it. You know, I, I trust in my bathroom to lay it on the sink or, or somewhere, but I'm in a hotel, you don't know how well, they clean the stuff there. And it helped me um, discover my Tom Ford again and how much I really loved it. I've had the shade and Illuminate years ago and recently bought it again along with the cream blush and also the in, in depth in, let me cook what it's called. Which one is it? That's a scintillate. We have the incandescent blush is very good so right now the first thing only thing i have on of course my skin is it has serum on and while i was there i was using my the serum from victoria beckham which i really love i must say i was watching another youtuber the um um michelle wong and she said that she really loved it but she noticed that it got to a plateau that her skin didn't keep on improving and i kind of noticed that also so I'm not saying it's a bad serum. I just think that maybe you need some breaks between it. We were on a break! We were on a break! <laughs> to really get the results that you're looking for. And what I've been really using lately, and you see how empty it is, just ordered this maybe a month and a half, two months ago. I love the serum Alexa from Charlotte Tilbury. Perfect, it is so good. But like I said, today I went ahead and put on the Victoria Beckham because that is what I used when I was in Mexico. I only have on eye cream and I'm gonna go in now with sun cream. Now I'm gonna put up um, a picture of the sun cream serum I was using when I was in Mexico, but I don't have that anymore. But for the last like month or so, I've been loving this Nivea, this summer gel. It's really good. It's really good to go under your fliga because not your flea, you're listening to me mixing my German and my English, going under your creams and your um, primers because it's very light. I've already ordered two more new bottles because you see this one's almost empty. But I love this because it's really like a gel and it's so mild, has no fragrance, everything. You can put it on your eyes, under your eyes, down your neck, into your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm, oh, feels so bad eyes. Oh. Okay. Hair in my mouth. Okay, I need to let that seep in for a minute and I'll be right back. You need it soaked in. Like I said, been using, excuse the top, but I had to scrape the last of it out of there. My Nivea Super Water Gel, which I love, 50 SPF. And then what I was loving there also from Victoria Beckham, her, I think it's rejuvenating, uh, 
um, ba um, primer, but with uh, skincare, great. It made my makeup go on so creamy and so nice. So I'm gonna do two and a half pumps because I also like putting this down my neck just in case I put any creams or any anything under my chin. And I'm just gonna press that in all over, especially under my eyes, so I have some extra moisture. We don't really want any dryness under the eye. And for people who know my skin, how I describe my skin, I really don't have a problem skin, really don't have any problem with dark spots. Very rarely do I get any breakouts, but my skin has changed over the years, I noticed. I don't know if it's just different skin cares or really just different phase in my life with the aging and getting older. But before I used to have pretty oily skin, especially in T-zone. And sometimes I'll still get a little oily there, but I find that my skin is, you know, it's not that much oily anymore. It's pretty much normal. So I do like a lot of dewiness on my skin. Not a big powder person. I don't like the bake under the eyes because I really like my eyes to look dewy and moisturized under knee even with concealer on okay what i was using then what i love is my hourglass concealer the new one that came out about two months ago and i have it in color i think it's april no topaz but i like it because it's an apricot color and that helps get rid of any dark circles because you know if you're on vacation, drinking and partying, you have a couple dark circles. So I just like to put two dots here and there. Maybe three. Hmm. One to go on. And this one I came in with my Tati Beauty. Took, let's take this clean side right here because I did use it yesterday. Clean side. And let's go in and just blend that in a little bit. Just right here in the crease area, because that's the only place I want the color correction. Actually, I could just go like this, see how much the color correction is already there. Color Topaz has a little bit of apricot or orange hue to it but it's pretty much almost my skin color. If I just wanted to put on some mascara and some lip gloss and go out of the house, this would be fine. But we are gonna put one of my all-time favorite concealers on just to give me a little bit of brightness. I love the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I know a lot of people don't like this. They say it may be too heavy or too oily. I like it because I don't like the bake. I like that it leaves the creaminess under. I don't have to set it if I don't want to and it just stays on. And this particular color is the perfect color for me. I wanna say it's 36B, medium tan beige. I think it is 36B. Love this. And then what I'm gonna do with this is just go a little bit under the eyes, all the way up, just for a little brightness. I'm gonna hit the end of my nose a little bit, right here. Because it is summertime, I don't put any on any other highlight areas. But right here, just to square off my nose a little bit. Can you see that? Going back in with the Tati, and actually I can use the corner where the Hourglass Concealer is on there. sure what you guys see in the camera but I feel like that's all that I need now I love to go in because I am at home I went ahead and get me a moist beauty blender to get me a little bit more moisture I love my La Mer tonic a lot of times I will go let's say I do have on foundation right now and I've already put on my foundation and I've put on my concealer before I put any other cream products on I like to spray a little bit of this toner just to add a little bit more moisture and conditioning into my makeup. And then usually I just go with the butt of the beauty blender and just push that moisture in there. And I feel like that just makes my foundation and my concealer melt so much into my skin
You cannot see where the concealer starts and where the concealer ends. Love it. Okay, let's hit my eyebrows right now. Now, I am not a person that really likes to accentuate or color my eyebrows. What did I do with my eyebrow serum? Ah, here it is. Um, because I wear my hair so light, have dark eyebrows. If I sit there and really like use gels and um, eyebrow pencils and color my eyebrows in, they would really look too dark. I used to sometimes blonde my eyebrows also, but then lately I've been noticing they were breaking off, so I've been giving them a break. And apropos, or talking about breaking off, I'm not even using an eyebrow gel. What I'm using is my eyebrow serum called Bold Brows. This was recommended to me from my uh, cosmetologist. Um, this is a eyebrow enhancer, but it has zero hormones. Everything's all natural, everything all plants. And um, yeah, and because it doesn't have hormones, a lot of times you'll have these eyebrow and eyelash enhancers. So as soon as you start using it, within a week, you start seeing a difference. But then a lot of times when you stop using them, you don't have that extra hormone in there anymore. And then they start falling out again. This takes a while to have an effect, but after about two or three months, my eyebrows are full. Most people comb their eyebrows up. I do here in the front. But I, if I did all my eyebrows up, I feel like I have so much space here on my eye, I don't need it. And I have so little space here because I have such a prominent hairline. I basically, if I didn't wax between my eyebrows and my hairline, I would not have a hairline. They would just, it grows together. I know it's called a uni brown where it grows together there. What is it called when your eyebrows grow into your hair? Who knows? I'll have to look that up. Somebody have to Google that for me. What's that called when you have eyebrow hairline? So I like combing this up and then I bring this over to the side and I find also, I've also discovered that my hair from here down actually goes downwards. So if I comb this downwards here, I feel like the natural line is perfect. And helps give me a little bit more thickness in here where probably my eyebrows are a little bit too thin or wish they would grow. So I'm just gonna set this with this wow gel. Mirror. I can't see that well in it. Yeah, so I'm kind of using the length of the eyebrows there to make it look thicker there. It's like an eyebrow comb over. So let's get some more to do the other side. For a summer day, that's all I need. I'm gonna cover up my scar hole here a little bit more. Pull this down. Yeah, and I find that's fine. Okay, let's go into our cream products now and back to our beautiful. Here, I have the shade and illuminate in, I think I have it in two. Yeah, I have intensity one, two. Wishing I was that brown. So I use intensity one, and yeah, I know it's silver, but that was during a um, a um, what do you call it? Exclusive or a different uh, special thing. So I have it in silver. So we're gonna just go and do a little bit of contouring, going next to the side of my concealer. And I have pretty high prominent cheekbones, so I never conceal here under. Sometimes I'll put some, not conceal, sorry. I never bronze or contour very deep. I like to use the height of my eye, of, of my cheekbones. Always bring it over to the nose so it doesn't pull your face down. But it helps calm down a little bit of the roundness in my cheeks, and you just need a little bit. Like I said, we're not using a lot. I just want to put a little bit of color there. And a little bit goes a long way, so always work up. But this, this, what is this called, Blendiful? Blendiful, and it's beautiful, I love this. I really started using it a lot when I was traveling. 
in February and March, and then it's just really easy to travel. Other side. And remember, always bring it over. Don't bring it down. You just make your whole face just go down, especially me. I have such a long, narrow face. I don't want to do that. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of my bronzing and contouring to my cheeks. I'm not gonna really go up in my forehead because when you start sweating, I just feel like that makes you look muddy. But I am gonna hit a little bit under my chin, cut off my chin a little bit here. And then I'm gonna make a little bit narrow and I'm gonna put a little bit of contour right over that line that I had done of highlight at the end of my nose. I don't really like to contour the sides of my nose. I have a thin nose, but I don't really have a nice, well, I wouldn't say nice. I don't want to uh, insult myself. But I really would like to have more of a, uh, sometimes a prominent ball on the end of my nose and I have a little bit of a point. So I kind of just round out around the ball of my nose. And then we might hit under the lip, just so I can have some full lips. I think we're done with that. Oh, let me go in and take a little bit of illuminating just to get a little bit more glow. I'm just gonna hit right here. The hair out of the way. Right here. Just so I have a little bit more shine. Ah! I just officially hit pan. You can tell how much I love that. Can you see that? Just officially hit pan. You don't have to buy some more. Okay, I think we're done with that. Now we're gonna come to, ah, neat, that's the powder. From the Tom Ford, the cream blush and highlight. I bought this right before I started doing some traveling. This is number one. This is actually called the Shade and Illuminate Cheeks. Shade and Illuminate Cheeks from Tom Ford. I guess this side's the best to read. And like I said, I have uh, number one, Skin to Late. Skin to Late. Skin to Late. So you see the colors inside? Nice, beautiful, rosy, glowing from inside, blush, and a little bit of a highlight there. So this is our third, yeah, our third liquid. And you see, I hardly have used this, so it's not in the way here. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the blush. I'm just right here on the apples of my cheeks. gonna go in with a little bit of the highlight. And we are finished. All I'm gonna do is set with some powder. My favorite powder I love in the summertime. I love the veil, the hourglass veil. It's perfect because it's very light. This is just the translucent that I have. And let's go in with my Chico Hodo. I think this is my number nine. The big powder brush. Which one is this one? I always get them mixed up. They're so similar. I think this is the nine, this is the eight. But let's take a little bit. That's always in my the top. And I'm just gonna stipple that in. Shine is 
gone. Now let's go in to the incandescent. Gorgeous, right? This is the incandescent. This is number seven from Tom Ford. And this one is called the Skin Illuminating Power Duo. This is gorgeous. Let's see what brush I'm gonna use here. Why don't we go in with my Sky Set from Sonia G. The Master Face. We're gonna go in this with the blush. And we just wanna stimple and bring a little bit more of the color out from the cream blush we already put on. And before I, I'm gonna take one of my Wayne Gloss, the new artistry one, the Benefits Hula. This is my little mini that I always travel with, so I have this with me in Mexico, just in case you want a little bit more brownness. And this brush passes perfectly in there. So we're gonna hit that a little bit. Just here, I want a little bit more brown. I always have to be careful that I don't get. That's why I like using cream bronzers better and cream contours, because when I start with the brushes, I get it in my hair and then I have to clean it out. But I just want a little bit more brown there. This little box is the only thing, it doesn't stay open. You need two hands to pilot it. And I love these tips of these powder brushes because this is also really great. To get you a soft extra bronzy on the nose without being such a defined line. You know what, that's so dirty, I can't even see anything. Let's go back to this one. Just to get you a little bit more. When I was in uh, Mexico, basically I was just doing, doing a liquid liner, wing eye in black from Pat McGrath and the Pat McGrath Extreme Eyes, which I love, that mascara. But I'm gonna keep it a little bit soft with brown. I'm gonna tight line under my eye and inside my eye. Now, I'm gonna have to step away from the camera to do this. I always do my tight lining before I put any kind of uh, mascara or um, eyeshadow on because my eyes water. And I don't like pulling on my eyelids, so I always use <laughs> my sponge. And I actually do like this and lift my eye. And I know that probably looks gross and I have to get really close to the, the mirror because I'm blind without my contact lenses and um, don't want to poke my eye out. Be right back. Still filming me. Okay, we're gonna go back in with the hula. I'm just gonna take a little bronzing in here. Right with the point. Wayne Gloss, the smallest of his new three artistry set. The new one out. Love this. I mean, it's like really doing calligraphy on your face with these soft brushes and how you can hold them. Just wanna put a little bit of contour here. A little bit of definition. Okay, now I have to uh, get the inside tight light on my eye. Again, I use a sponge. I It makes me cringe when I see women pulling on their eyes, honey. Our under eyes are our most precious and most tender part of our face. Do not pull on it. Always use a sponge. All you have to do is press a little bit like this. Doesn't take your concealer off with your finger and everything. It doesn't pull in your eyes. No extra wrinkles, no extra bags. Please be careful. You're like pulling on his eyes, thinking about what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and I don't remember if I mentioned it, but I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic uh, Liquid Eye Pencil in Barbarella Brown. I love this. It's very soft. It's a very dark brown. It's almost, um, now my nose is running from uh, tight lining. Oh, beauty blender. Point of beauty blender, the clean nose. <laughs> 
Um, love this because it stays in place. I'm gonna pull out, where's my Pat McGrath? Love Pat McGrath fetish eyes. I said extreme eyes before, fetish eyes. I love this. The only thing I don't love about it, okay, I can get it open. My hands are oily now. Oh, the other one I think is in my other room. Okay, I need help. <laughs> Mid muscles. Only thing I don't like about this, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I am a little bit clumsy and a little bit shaky on the hands. And I just wish the brush was a little bit narrower because I cannot do this without getting on my face, but it's worth it. I love the mascara. Really volumizes, volumi volumizes. And this is where it starts getting tricky. I have a lot of little lashes in the inside that I love to get to. And now I'm getting my hair also. Oops, hang in here. I have a black ends right there. And that's where I usually screw up and these tiny ones in the corner here. At least if the brush was pointed. But I have to be very careful. That, love that lift. Gotta love that lift. Mm, when I said that, what was that song? Um, it's song by, oh, oh, it's, oh, now I got it in my head. I'll remember in a minute. Oh, yeah. Whip that whip from Devo. Da, 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 da. Love that lift. <laughs> All right. I clearly need a glass of wine. I'm going a little crazy. Okay, well, the first coat is drawing. I'm gonna go in this Pat McGrath's highlighting powder. Ha ha! Um, I don't think I had this in Mexico. It wasn't out yet. Or was it out? No, I'm quite sure it wasn't out yet. I didn't go with it yet. I probably had either my highlighting from my uh, Coke and Dole. I love the highlighting powder. And surprisingly, from KKW. I love her, I think it's her number two. It also has a little bit of apricot in it. Can't use it too much, because it does dry out. If you have fine lines on your eyes, the KKW does dry out. But Pat McGrath, Miss Pat McGrath, no, 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 does not dry out. So let's find my Wayne Gong's airbrushed. Yes, we need airbrush. Love this brush. What number is it? It doesn't have a number on it. Anyway, everybody knows this iconic airbrush. Just all you have to do is dab a little bit in on this Pat McGrath. And I just like to hit that point there. And make sure she doesn't catch any shadow. Highlighting means opposite of a shadow. So we want to go against that shadow and put a little bit that's all I need. I really, like I said, I don't powder more in my eyes. I am gonna just hit here just because I went a little bit low. Lining my eyes. I'm just clean it up a little bit with some powder. We getting there, we getting there, we getting there. Okay, now let's put a second coat of mascara on because you always need a second coat of mascara. That's why I stopped wearing fake eyelashes, honey. All it does is, I don't know about you guys, but I always used to lose so many lashes. Finally got them all thick. And um, actually, I haven't tried it yet, but that bold brow, what I showed you guys in the beginning, it also they also make for lashes. So it's just because of, you know, the things our world has been going through lately that a lot of places were closed, especially cause. Oh, 
Hey, we've got a problem here. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. See? What did I tell you? This brush is too damn big. All right, looks like I have a tear tattoo. Whatever, we'll let it dry and clean it back up. Okay, all we need is a little bit of lip gloss. Let me sharpen my lip pencil. I am using, you guys don't laugh at me. I was a little drunk. <laughs> I had to redo my lips and uh, took the cap off and I started sharpening the wrong end of, <laughs> of the pencil, but please forgive me. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Icon I Iconic Nude. I mean, it's one of my favorites. You can't go wrong with it. It has the right color of brown, the right color of beige, the right color of taupe. What I started using in Mexico, which I'm just loving. I have it on every day now. I just ordered my second one, the Viseart. And this was their nudes that they came out with. This was called Bene. It's a delicious fattening pastries from New Orleans. I love this color. Hey, kitty. We're gonna go in with my Too Faced Diamond Light. I just bought this because I thought the packaging was so cute. When you guys see a video of me redecorating my bathroom, you'll see why I wanted the pink packages. I never thought, I never used pink highlight. I never thought it would go with my skin. But this year, I have fallen in love with. It's like the best highlight. Let's go in with a... Where is my fan brush from Swanage? Oh, here it is. The number two, I think this is. Nay Sculpt 4. I don't have any of the numbers right. But I love this because it has a little bit of gold and a little bit of bronzy in it. But the pink just works so well with my face. We want to just touch up, touch it right here. And it's very light. Just give me a little bit of a glow, not too much. We don't want to look made up today. This is supposed to be a summer light look. Just right there. Can't go wrong. I'm going to do that tip of the nose again. The zoom tight. Did you guys hear that? My cat just sneezed twice. Oh, yeah, Miss Clover. And that's enough. You guys see that glow? It's just so, I don't know why I did not think that this color would work with me, but I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Looks good. Okay, I think I'm done here. I'm just gonna hit a little bit more of the tonic. Even though I don't have a lot of powder on my face, I wanted to powder in. And another thing I do also use from Kula, I have the uh, finishing setting spray that has the um, sunscreen in it, sunscreen 30. But it is a little dry, drying, so you have to be careful. I never spray, never spray around your eyes. A lot of times when I spray, I'll cover up my eye. But right here in the center of your face, where the sun hits here, the sun hits here, we maybe start getting a little bit too dewy. That takes away the shine. I'm still looking for this um, Surat brush. Um, where it's a little dewy, and then it protects you extra from the sun. Love it, love it, love it. But I always carry that in my purse, and that's something I put on after I'm already out of the house, maybe about an hour. Come on, I stop watering. Okay, I think I got everything done. 
Ashley, when I'm not filming, oh, I know what I forgot. Call it the highlight of youth. That is in the center of your eye, how that opens up and brightens your eye. Let's go in with my fox brush. Where's the little fox brush? My little chikahuro fox brush. I think this is the number, this is the number seven. I'm gonna put some more of that diamond light right here, just so I have a little bit of brightness. It doesn't have to be a lot. But just when the sun hits it, I have a little bit of glow there and how much that brightens up your eyes and gives you that youthful look. That's why I call it the highlight of youth. All right there. Well guys, throwing things on the floor. I think I'm finished. So that's my summer routine. Usually it goes a little bit quicker. This is the true way I've been walking out of the house. Either with liner and just mascara or having on sunglasses. I don't even have on any mascara or sun um, or um, eyeliner. Lip gloss is always on. Yeah, most of it lands in the inside the mask because you know we have those times right now. Everybody's going to go out with your mask on. I'm serious. No answers about go out with your mask on. So I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. I hope I get better at it. And yeah, I'll leave everything in the link below, what I used, my brushes. If you guys have any extra questions, just hit me up down in the discussion box and let me know what you'd like to know more about or not more about. And I'm gonna get dressed and Alex and I are going to something really great today this afternoon and uh, we're gonna make a film about that a vlogging about that so that's gonna come soon so you're gonna love that but it's it's, uh, it's about a, a special person and one of my favorite designers so we're gonna go enjoy that and see you later bye Where is, ooh, ooh, my pearls my pearls oh my god no it's rolling away clutching my oh, shit. clutching my pearls it's hitting the floor. Okay, where is my Surat? What the crazy hell is happening here? These things never fall out.